Hello and how are you? My name is Bukhindo Bak and I welcome you to our fourth lecture of learning how to make uh, web I mean mobile applications using uh, Flutter. So we are going to do 40 minutes as how we always do it and then after 40 minutes we'll call it a lecture. So I hope you've watched the first uh, three videos that uh, we used to practice. Uh, if you haven't watched then please uh, find the playlist on this very YouTube channel about this Flutter course and then uh, practice them first so you can be on the same page with us. But if you've already practiced or if you're on the same page with us or if you already know something in Flutter, then still you can take it from here. So with that much said, we're going to go straight to our today's topic. If you still remember clearly, yesterday we looked at uh, how we can design the container so i've already compiled my application and you saw how we could uh, do different things we looked at uh, things like creating margin creating uh, the border of a container creating padding and then also we looked at uh, how you can change the color of the container the background color and then the border color also we went ahead and looked at how you can shape your border for example changing the radius of the whole a container and changing the radius of the specific uh, corner of the container so that's what we looked at uh, yesterday so today we're going to take it from there and uh, proceed to other things so all right as we always do uh today we're going to look at uh, the layouts i mean the the, 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 the layouts yesterday we looked at uh, at the container container is uh, kind of a div or a box that help us to organize the content into a specific part, into a specific, um, into a specific shape that we want. So today we're going to look at uh, layouts. So layouts, they are kind of shapes that help us to organize things in what? In form of a certain order. Let's say that we want things to be organized in a horizontal way, then there is the layout that we can use. And then if one say things want them to organ be organized in a, let's say that uh, in a vertical way, there's also another layout that you can use. So, and to have different layouts that, that can do different what? Different things. So the first layout is the column. So column will enable us to put one thing under the other, or one thing on top of the other, and as many as we can. And then we have another layout column, I mean called row, so row, Will help us to put uh, content one next to the other as uh, up to the end way that we, we have then we have another one called flex so flex will help us to design things in a flexible way and then we have another one called um, <coughs> stack so stack will enable us to put uh, things uh, uh, one next to the other but in form of what in form of position and then we have another one called uh, called what called uh, there's one more uh, list list view that one is the one that will enable us to put one under the other but it can be what it can be scrollable so today we're going to begin by the column view uh, i mean the column layout and see how we can make use of it <clears throat> so i'll begin you've seen i've already compiled the application and it is running already so here we're going to add another item which is going to be the column okay and then we want like when you click on that column we should be taken to the screen that you use to practice the column what the column content so i'll come to application let me first make this one to always be on top all right i'll come to application to the project here and then click on uh, i have come to this very number two which is the one that we use uh, screen of, <coughs> of container i'll copy it and duplicate it so i'll click on it and then press ctrl c and then paste ctrl v then i'll go ahead and name this one to be number three so i'm making it number three so that uh, the file should be in what in the order that we need and then i'll come and call it uh, maybe i'll come and call it uh, column like this so columns Okay, so after doing like that, then I'll press enter so I can have uh, that file here. So I'll come and open this file of column that I've just created and then I'll come and do what? I'll come and modify it. So I'll come and call this one uh, column. 
columns. And then I'll come and remove everything here in the scaffold body. And maybe just put a placeholder. Like this. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to make this column appear on our main menu so that if someone clicks on this main menu, you should be taken to this page or the screen of column. So first of all, I'm going also to change the name of this class. I'm going to call it columns page. Okay, column page. Not column screen. Okay, and I'll come and change this and also to column page. So let's go ahead and put this one in our main so if someone clicks on it, you should be able to do what to proceed here. So we'll come to our main container, I mean our main page, which is home page here, this one here. And then we're going to duplicate this one and then duplicate it, the list style, and then change this word to what? To columns. Okay. And then maybe how to, uh, let's say, for example, manage some simple description and then you can put maybe a relevant icon here like that and then we come and change the action that if someone clicks here it should be taken to the column page then press alt and enter to import it i'll save and then the system should process and i should be able to see the column there okay column is there so after doing that so i should be able to click on column and i'm taken to the what to the column screen so let's go to the column screen and see how we can modify these things so this is the what the placeholder that we are seeing right now so I'm going to remove this placeholder and I show you how we can start playing with columns or how we can learn about columns. So I'll come and remove this placeholder and put column like this. So this column, uh, first of all, it will be just a simple empty user interface. Now the column will take multiple items as you can know, as you can see. A column will take, uh, let me first remove this background card. The column will take uh, multiple items as you know that uh, one item will be on top of the other, another on top of the other, another. So it will be as many as you want. So it will take multiple items. So widgets that take multiple items, we pass them. I mean, we give them what to call children. Okay. So children, it means that you can now have this squared box, I mean, squared uh, item that can accept what? An array of widgets. Okay. So here we can put different widgets that we want. So I can put containers, I can put text, I can put everything that I want there. So for example, I can come here and say container. And then uh, maybe to make this container uh, visible, I can give it width, okay? And say width equals to infinity. Double dot infinity, and I give it height, and maybe I say equals to <clears throat> equals to maybe uh, 50 and if we just save we will not be able to see anything why because this container is transparent so if i want to give it some color i can go ahead and give it color so you can see it and say maybe it is uh, red like this colors look red so if i save you'll see that i'll have my container there with the color of what with the color of red i hope you can see that so now the point here is uh, a column can take multiple what? Multiple widgets. I can add another column here. I mean, I can add another widget by putting comma and add another container. Okay, so I can duplicate this one and then add another container. So let me come and call this one and maybe yellow. Okay, and then I can copy this one and add another container there. So it is taking children. So it is taking multiple things. I can call this one. Black, for example. So when I save, you'll see that I'll have 
uh, multiple items in this one what? In this one um, layout, which is column, okay? And one column, and, and each item is under the other. Uh, Emmanuel, you can mute. Uh, so that is how we do it. That's how we can uh, design the column. Okay. So you can put as many items as you do it as you want. Okay. I can add another one. For example, I can duplicate these ones. And then I'll come and add here. So I hope you can see what is meant by what by column. It takes multiple children and each item will be below the other. So with that said, let us look at more things that a column can take. So if I see one thing that a column can take, just press portal and click on it. Then you'll be able to see more parameters that a column can do what a column can take. So let me go ahead and give this maybe this width. I mean, let me go ahead and give this container a uh, limited what? Limited width. Let's say maybe it has width of uh, 300 pixels. So I've given them limited width, okay? So I had made them to be infinity, the width to be infinity, that's why the width was uh, very wide. So let me make, okay, let me make some of them. Okay, let me just do that. Okay, let me make some of them have limited width. Some of them should have limited width, some of them should be infinity. All right, so that's, that's enough. Okay. So this yellow one has limited width and then this red one has limited width. So all right, so among things that we can do here is the uh, main main axis alignment, okay? So main axis alignment will help us to do what? To align the content inside this column. So I'll come the column parameter and give it main axis alignment. So main axis alignment to begin with what? With template and say main axis alignment and then put dot. So it will give you here possible uh, parameters for the what for the for this. For example, I can say center. So if I say center, the items will be centered. So if I uh, centered uh, vertically and horizontally. If I say maybe uh, space between, I mean there is center, there is end. So if I say end, it will uh, try to put these items at the end of the what of the column you can see the items are now at the end of the what of the column uh -huh. so another one is what is um space between so it will try to create the space between these items to be equal so you'll see that uh, each each item will have kind of equal space between them and uh, each item at least it is beginning at the beginning of the column and another is at the end of the what of the column so we have another one space around I mean space around so to make sure that it began with it begins with space and uh, ends with what with space and then we have another one called space evenly so space evenly it will make sure that all of them they are equally spaced so that is what you call main axis alignment so you have another one called uh, cross axis alignment to also take a cross axis alignment with a cap to be at the beginning and then you put dot so if you put for example dot start it is the one that is going to align the what the the items horizontal i mean vertically so if you say dot start it will make sure that the items are at start at of the part of the vertical uh, axis then if i say maybe dot what dot end then this cross axis alignment, it will make uh, this item to be on uh, the end of the what of the of the axis of uh, that is of the of the x axis. Okay, so main axis is the vertical one, and then cross axis is the horizontal one. So you can uh, do anything that you want here. Uh, for example, you can change, you can center them, and you can stretch them if you want to. So that is how you do it. That is how you format your column so let's look at other more parameters that you can take we have cross axis main axis ah that's it okay so mainly 
Uh, this container, it, I mean this column, it takes basically multiple children of widgets and you can be able, can be able to align them accordingly as how you want. So it's not that it can take only containers, only you can as well pass a text. For example, I'll say this is simple text like this and then put a comma here. So you can even mix up, you can even mix up the what? The widgets. So I hope you can now see that you can as well take what? It can as well take text. So that is uh, all that you need to know basically about the containers. I mean about the columns, you can go ahead and make much more research and see how you can make good out of much more good of, out of this one, out of these columns. So after that, you can proceed to another layout, so another widget. So I hope you've understood this and I hope you have no any issue with it right now. So we're going to proceed to another widget. So another widget is called, um, or oh, another layout is called what? It's called rows. So row is the opposite of column. As you can see, column who have managed to arrange things in a vertical way, I mean in a horizontal way, one below the other. So the column one, it will make them to be arranged in a what? In a vertical way, one next to the other. I mean the row one. So let's go ahead and create another screen where we're going to demonstrate the row eight things. So I can come to this very screen of columns and I copy it and then I paste it and call this one number four and call this guy um rows like this so after doing rows i'll come here and then come and change the name of class and say row page or rows page so i'll go up here and change the name of the class row page or i can call it rows page and change this one also and then come here and call it maybe rows something like this okay rows and then i can come and remove this column and i just put the now, so like this, and then save. So after doing that, we are going to go to back to us to the to the main container here. I mean to the main page and add the what the rows container. So I'll come to the main page here, and then add another item that we want to be clicking on. So to go to the watch to the rows. So I'll come and change the title of this item to rows. And then I can also change the description to whatever I want. And then I save. So when I save that item is going to appear in our what in our menu. So if we, are, we click on it, it should be able to do what to take us to the what to the rows. So let me put here the relevant icon. So there we go. So if I click here, I'm able to see the what? Oh, sorry, I have to change the, the class here that I have to, that, I, that when I click, it should be called. So I'll come here and come change this one to what? To row page. Okay, you can see here I'll call it row page. So I'll come and make sure that's all that I'm calling it here. And then press Alt and Enter, take what it. So like that. So I'll save. After saving, I come back here and then I should be able to do what? To click here and then I got what to roll. So let me click there. Hey, that's not going good. <laughs> Did we change this rows? Yes. Uh, let me save again. So I want when I click on the rows, I should go to the row page. So there it is, okay? So let us look at uh, things that we can do with the row. So as I told you, a row will help us do what? Will help us to, to organize uh, content in form of row based. So to do that, we just simply put row like this, okay? So after putting row, uh, you can guess row will also take what? It will also take children. It will also take multiple widgets. Uh, so I can go ahead and uh, create a container. That we are going to use to demonstrate 
inside this so I can go ahead and say container and then I give it what color like this and then maybe give it some height of maybe 100 let's say uh, 50 and then give it some what some width okay so there you go so right now we should be able to do what to see uh, our first container there so now we can add multiple items into the row for example i can come here and then i duplicate this copy and then paste uh -huh. then i'll come and check this one first to green so i hope you're going to see the difference so the difference here is that the rows item will be next to the other in uh, vertical order okay and then for the columns item will be next to the other in the what in a horizontal order okay oh in it's a horizontal arrangement so i can go ahead and add more things here yeah. So you can see one is being arranged next to the other okay so i hope you now understand that so let me try to increase here the, the size so you can see clearly so there we go you can see items are being arranged in form of what in form of uh, rows okay so that's what is meant by what by row so also this row it comes with its own functions that we can uh, use to uh, play with uh, for example uh, we can align this item just like what we did in what in uh, the column so i can come here and just say uh, i'd say main axis and then say main axis dot mm -hmm. so you can see that the main axis has been changed to i mean the main axis alignment has been to has been changed to the to the alignment that you want so here the whole point is that for the row the main axis is the vertical which is its main axis the, the xy axis and then for the column the main axis is the what is the horizontal one. so we are saying that item that on the main axis of this row should be spaced evenly and then you can see it has spaced them evenly we can go ahead and add more for example space between you can see we have space between so it will be uh, it will be your task or it will be your your challenge to think very creatively of how you can use this kind of arrangement to do something that can uh, make for you what can make for you sense or that can solve a certain what a certain problem so at end items will be saved on the part on the end side so go ahead and uh, practice and make sure that you understand you can as well search more about these rules from anywhere so that is all about rows that you need to know however you can play with it as much as you can so you can get uh, used to the rows so but uh, the whole point is uh, that is how we manage what we manage rows in uh, flutter and that is the code so i'll go back then after uh, let me first have uh, Uh, so that is it for the rows. So we have another one called uh, stack. So for the stack, it will help. I mean, okay, sorry. I have another one called uh, flex. So let me go ahead and create another page for the flex. So I'll copy this row one and then come and change this one to what? A number five and put flex. And 
and then come and change this one what to flex page and come and remove everything here So we'll go ahead and add it in our menu. Alright, so I'll go ahead and change this to flex page. So when someone clicks there, it should be taken to the what? To the flex screen. So I'll save and then come and click on flex. I should be able to see the flex. Alright. So now here, flex is uh, is like um, it's like a row. But uh, for it, it gives us uh, flexibility with the items that uh, we are going to use, so that we that use in uh, in that particular uh, flexible uh, widget. So let's just see how this flex works. So the first parameter that flex must take is the axis. I mean it's the direction so you have to put direction and then you say axis axis direction dot then you specify whether it should be sorry it should be axis dot then whether you specify whether it should be vertical or horizontal so flex you can change item to be in any direction that you want so I can say maybe horizontal then after it will take also what children okay so now after doing that we can go ahead and give it what and give it children so let me go ahead and say a uh, container and give it what and give it maybe a height of uh, 10 and then color is blue uh -huh. so after doing that and I save I'll be able to do what? To receive my container so I say that the alignment should be what? it should be uh, vertical so it means that one will be next to the other in a vertical way so if I create another item here, let me just give it maybe height of what or fifty. So one thing that you should see here is that uh, even though you don't specify the width, automatically this will try to be pulled and made like a hundred percent. So if I come and duplicate this one, let's say and I give this one red. So you can see one is under the other so that's what you call what that's what you call flex so with flex you can change the direction by just simply coming here and say maybe horizontal like this so if you change the direction uh one will try to be next to the other but the reason why we are not able to see them is because we don't specify the what the width
Now, if you want uh, this container to have equal width, you have to give it another, you have to surround it with another widget called what? Called uh, expanded. So this expanded will come with uh, a parameter called flex. And then you can decide how, which space this flex should spend. So if you say 100, I mean 1, it will make sure that you spend the width of what? Of 1. So if I come here and I also wrap it with another flex, I mean with another expanded, I can go ahead and also change this container to expanded, I mean this center to expanded, and then I can also give it what? A uh, parameter called flex. So if I say 1, so it means that both of these two are going to take space of 1, 2, 1. So it helps us to do what to do that kind of uh, flexible, flexible resizing. So if I want this one to be take to take like a, a space of two, I can go ahead and put here two. So it will take this will be this one times two, and then it will be this one. So I hope you understand there. So you can change this uh, flexibility. Maybe you can say three, and then it will make sure that uh, this one is spending the space of what of three times the other one. I hope you understand that. So another advantage here of flexibility is that if items are more than the content, it will not do what? It will not uh, uh, override the item. Let's say that, um, okay, let me give you an example here. Let's say that this container is going to take maybe some text. I mean, so I'll give it a child and give it text. Okay, and then come and pass here uh, so many text. So if I pass it, like I put as many text as possible. So you can see here, like uh, when the text gets full, it drops to the what to the next one. But this one is not possible with the what with the row. Let's say that uh, we are using a row to do this. So when the text gets full, it cannot be flexible, but we'll try to expand and then we'll end up having what an error. So flex will help us to organize things in that way that even though the space is full, it will try to drop them in the, what? In the next line. So flexible, however, you can also change it to the horizontal or vertical. So as you proceed, you'll see this flexible. I mean, this flex uh, widget becoming much more important when you proceed, most especially when you're looking at what? At responsiveness. So I hope you understand. So you can even put much more widgets if you want to. So you can see that is something for you. So you can also maybe make this one to spin two. So it will be three to two to one. So we'll have to use the ratio that you do what that you want. Let's say that you want a space of maybe that is having one in the beginning and then three in the middle and then one at the end. This is the flex that you, this is the flex that you do up that you'll have to use. Okay. So that is uh, all about flex or the basics of flex. You can go ahead and uh, search much more about what about flex of uh, of flutter and you can you'll really find it what much more interesting when you do it when you really understand it. So that is flex. So we can proceed to another thing, and we're going to look at uh, what you call stack. So flex it takes what expands, expanded, and then an item inside it, and then you can modify whatever flex that you want. So let us look at another item called stack. So stack <coughs> will put an item on top of the other. Okay, and then you can position them in any way that you want so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can design stack so i'll go ahead and come to a project and then duplicate this one and then call it number six and then i come and call it maybe stack stack page then after doing that i'll come here to number six and then 
come and call this guy stack like this stack screen and then also call this one stack screen like this so i can come and change the title to stack or stack page and then i can come and remove this and just put maybe some simple text then after doing that i'm going to add that stack to our menu so i'll come to our menu which is in the home page and add one more thing called what called stack So that is uh, stack. So let's go ahead and click on stack and see. So let me first change this page where I click. So it should be able to take me to stack. So when I click on stack, I'm able to do what? To see the stack. Okay. So let's see what stack really means. So stack, uh, it is nothing but uh, also a layout that supports multiple items and the difference is one item will be put on top of the other let's see okay so to create stack we just simply put stack and then open and then to take children okay so in this children you can go ahead and give it container and give it maybe a width of 100 let's say maybe 200 okay and then give it maybe uh, some background color so if i save you see my box will be on top there okay so now let's say that uh you know it's taking, it's taking children let us say that you want to add another box so I'll copy this exact one. You see, I'm adding another box, and then let me see, let me put this one read. And I save. So if I save, what all what you're seeing is the red box. So you can ask where did the black box go? The black box is there, but is behind this red box. So that is all about stack. One item will put on top, will be put on top of the other. Let's say that you want maybe to create, let's say that you maybe say you put some margin and then say left, okay, agent set and then say dot only and then let's say, let's say, say left and say 15 and then say top and say 15. So what you'll have, what you'll have done here, you'll have made this one extend and you'll now be able to see the one which is what, which is behind it. Okay, so that's what meant by stack. Stack an item will be put on top of another, or the next item will be to put on top of the, of the other. So let's say maybe I again duplicate this one, and I put here maybe this, let's say make this one the yellow one. So the yellow one, you will not see it. Why? Because this red one is overriding it. Okay, so maybe unless I put here something like 30, and again, come and put your third. So you'll now be able to see that this one is going to extend by 30 margin, and then you'll be able to see something like that. So that's what is meant by what well, that's what we meant by what? By stack. An item will be put on top of the other. Okay. An item will be put on top of the other. So in case you want to design, we have a design in the in your mind where an item needs to be on top of the other. So you have to use what? You have to use stack. For example, let's say that, uh, let me show you, let's say that you want to design something like this. Let's say I want to design something like this, okay? Like this. So you see this number three 
is on top of this icon okay so it means that this number three is on is a stack is in stack with this icon but this one is maybe having some margin of uh, specified one that you that you may need here so that is how you do that if you want something to put it on top of the other like this one like the way you think here you'll have to design it using what using uh, stack so we can give ourselves a challenge and you see how we can do something like this okay so to do let's do this one and uh, we call it uh, a day so before we do it i need to first show you something called positioned so positioned will enable you to put an item in stack or position an item in stack in any way that you want okay so let us create a totally another what another container here that is having a background of uh, maybe let's say blue and then it does not have margin does not have width okay but it's the last one so the one which is last it will be on top of the previous one so this is the blue container that you have so let's make it maybe and have maybe 100 by 100 so now there is another item called position so position will help you to position anything at any point in the stack so I can go ahead and uh, surround this item with the what we call position. So I'll go ahead and press Alt and Enter and then maybe put widget and then come and change this uh, container center widget to what? To a widget called positioned. So positioned, it will enable us to put item in any place that we want. So in this position will have its own parameters, okay? Among the parameters that it has is the width bottom and then width i mean sorry it will have a left right top and bottom okay so that one will enable you to define the distance that you want the margin container to have between it and that particular container so if i say here you see i'm i've surrounded this container the blue one with um, with what with this position now if I say here and say top and say top equals to 15 so what it will do it will try to create the 15 spacing between I mean the, the spacing between the top of this container that contains it which is the stack and and what and itself with 15 margin space so what does it mean I can as well say bottom so it will try to create the space between this item and its bottom with that particular size I hope you can see that okay so it is since this stack stops here that's why that's why you're able to see it is having it is stopping from here so i can as well say maybe from left okay i can as well say left and say 15 so it will try to create the space between this and the item you see from left side as put 50 so that is what you are uh, all about stack so i'm going to show you how we can design something like this something like this using what using stack all right so let's take that one as a challenge let's say that um, we want to design let's say we want to design this particular user interface okay so what we're going to do we're going to first uh, create a new stack uh, i think i should create um, uh, all right i want to I'm going to get it. I'm going to put here a container. All right. I'm going to put a container inside here, and then give it that. All right. Um. No. No. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I want to approach it properly. Uh. Okay. So what we're going to do? We're going to use this very position one. This position. Okay. And then after. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and just keep it like the way it was, and then I'll show how I can use position. So uh, let's go ahead and put this on here, and maybe say maybe 60, 60. All right. So there you go. There you go. So we have this one. Okay. So I want to put this user interface this user interface inside here inside this stack okay this last one so 
So all right, let's begin. We are going to begin by creating. Um, we're going. To, we're going to begin by creating uh, something inside it. Okay. So we're going to begin by creating maybe a container inside. So let's go ahead and put container. Oh, sorry, child, and give it container. Okay. So after doing that, let's give this container a color. Color. Okay, so after doing that, let's go ahead and give this container uh, an item inside it. Let's give it maybe some height, 100, and width, 100. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a child and give it an iPhone. So there we are. Uh, so after doing that, let's go ahead and uh, let's increase the size of this icon. So I can see it clear, clearly. So there we go. Now we want to put, we are going to surround this item with what? With stack. So you can select something that accepts children like column and then change this column for what to stack like this uh -huh. so after doing that we're going to put now our counter so our counter will be in form of um, our counter is going to be in form of what in form of uh, text so but text will be in a container so I'll go ahead and put your container so I'll, go, I'll first put positioned so you should be able to move it to a whatever I want. Position, and then we'll give it a container. And then we'll come and give it a child. I mean, let's say color of red. And then we'll go and give it a what? A child of text. And then maybe uh, let's make it like uh, six. Okay. Then after doing that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, give this container. So I, I hope you can see our container is up there. Let's go ahead and maybe increase the size of this. So I hope you can see our six there, that six, okay? So let's go ahead and change the position of this six. So we can say maybe right and say 15, I mean 16. So you see, it is making it right and they try to put 16. So the reason why it is making it this far is because the container that contains this one is uh, so big. So I can go ahead and collapse this container by reducing on its what? On its width and height. On its width. Make this one 50 and I see. So this width is not effective. One. 
all right so i'll go ahead and also uh, let's say maybe uh, we center everything okay let's position the top okay like that let us also increase its position on uh, top and make it maybe 15 let's make it uh, maybe like uh, 50 50 so you should have like something that is centered so i've put this position uh, 50 50 so i'll come and put this icon also in position so put in container then say positioned so with position you can put something anywhere you want so i can come and try it here and pass top and bottom 50 50 so it's going to be exactly behind there so I can say on top it should be maybe uh, 70. So you'll see it is going to be kind of uh, below there. And then I can say let us increase its size maybe for the visuals. Uh -huh. All right, so there it is. Uh -huh. So and then I can say maybe on its right it should be something like uh, 40. There it is. Okay, now we're going to come and change this uh, color of this text to be white. Like that. And then we can change maybe the font weight. To be maybe 700. So it can be kind of bolded. Alright, so after doing that, let's go ahead and give, uh, let's make it seven, I think let's make it like that. So let's go ahead and give it maybe this container, some padding, some margin. Okay. I mean some padding. All right, then after, uh, we can just simply give it a uh, width and height. So it can be kind of square width. And height. I think 25 will work. All right, let's make uh, 30, 8, and then let's center. All right, then after doing that, then we're going to change it to be a what to be. After doing that, we're going to change it to be a circle. So we'll have to work on what on the border radius. Make it 40. I think she did a distance this. Make it maybe. Alright, so after doing that, let's go ahead and give it border radius. So we come and put here a uh, decoration and put box decoration and then put here a uh, border radius and put uh, border radius dot all and then you put radius dot circle. Satchelor and maybe give it a hundred. Let me collapse this one. Oh, sorry, color, 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 color. It has to be inside the decoration. All right, there we go. 
So you see, we're able to do that. Now we can uh, drop the position of this one and make it uh, our top and make it 55, maybe. Let's try. Uh, make, let's make it uh, uh, 57. Let's make it 60. And then and then the right you can make it uh, like uh, 45 35 to be very far make it uh, 40 all right so you'll have something like that and let us see the one that we are copying let's make this one 65 and make this make this yeah okay let's see the one that you are copying the one that you're copying is here i think you need just to increase the icon size maybe make it 80 yeah, yeah. all right so this is the original one and then this is the one that you're copying so it can take time for you to really understand this but uh, if you give it time and practice, like the one I've shown you, these things will become in your brains and you can be able to do anything almost that you see. So you see, this is the one that we are trying to mimic. And uh, by the use of stack and positioned, we are able to do us to come up with this one. So you can give yourself different kinds of challenges and uh, you'll be able to do us to understand how to do these things. So it can take time for you to like really understand them, but it will only you will understand them after you've done one, after you have really practiced. So that makes it our today's lecture, and I hope you've learned, and I hope you're going to practice. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, so the next time we post, you are made in the know or you're reminded. So in tomorrow's lecture, we're going to see how we can take this whole thing that next level so make sure that you don't watch that you don't miss i'll put this code on github so in case you want uh, to practice from what i've done you can uh, simply do it get the access to the source code so see you in the next class which is tomorrow All right. uh, so members meet tomorrow i'm going to upload this video and uh, i will share the link so when you receive the link you go ahead and uh, open the link of, from your computer and practice